Hello, hello, welcome to Sweaty Life Fitness. My name is Heather, and today we're gonna do a different kind of workout. Uh, typically do intervals. Today it's just gonna be timed, uh, well, <laughs> it's gonna be seven minute blocks. Um, I'm gonna have a certain rep count for each exercise. <clears throat> you can either do the rep count with me at your own pace, or you can just follow me, and whatever I switch to the next thing, you can switch with me. It's totally up to you. So we have seven minutes for some upper body. Um, we're gonna start with bent over rows. It's kind of a mix, it's uh, cardio and strength. So, bent over row. Um, so you're kind of like in a squat, chest is up, and you're bringing your elbows back, 90 degree angle with the, those elbows, squeezing the shoulder blades together, pinching your spine between your shoulder blades, 20. So 20, 19, 18, et cetera, et cetera, all the way down to zero. Then, with or without the weights in your hand, squat jacks. Out and in, out and in, out and in. Nice and low from the side. Same thing, you're keeping that nice low angle. So it's an out and up, out and up. It's down nice and low the whole time. 50 squat jacks. Then, back to the weights. Bicep curl, any style you want. 20 bicep curls, so you can do them um, palms facing up standard style. You can do hammer curls. I don't care. I'm just going to work five steps. 20 reps. If you're alternating, it's 20 each arm, so then it would be 40 total. Keep that in mind. Then, down to the ground for 50 mountain climbers. Pop this down only because the floor is dark. And probably can't see very well <clears throat> what I'm doing with the floor being so dark. So, down on the ground for your mountain climbers, hands underneath your shoulders, your butt's low. You don't want your butt in the air. I hate when I see people do this. I don't hate you, I just hate what I see. Tuck the hips down. It's like you're scraping your shin along the floor. Hips stay nice and low. Uh, 50 total. So 25 each leg or 50 total. And then we're going to repeat. So again, it is 20 bent over row, 50 squat jacks, 20 bicep curls, 50 mountain climbers for seven minutes. I have a cheat sheet here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it behind me or not, but I'll put it up for you. Over here. Over here. We'll put it here. You probably won't be able to see it, but that's okay. Um, so 20, 50, 20, 50, just remember that. <clears throat> After that seven minutes, we're gonna do, um, we're, gonna, we're gonna do a two failure group. <clears throat> so for seven minutes, we're gonna alternate back and forth between push-ups to failure. Once you get to failure with the push-ups, you're gonna come over to a wall sit. So scooch down. You want your knees hopefully around 90 degrees, drive it in with the heels, lower back pressed into the wall. And you're going to hold this until you just cannot stand it anymore. And you're going to come back down to the ground and do your push-ups to failure. And when I say failure, I mean like you can't push yourself off the ground anymore. So if you're going to start on your toes, totally fine, but you're not to failure until you drop to your knees and exhaust all your options that way as well. <laughs> just follow along. It'll be fun. I've already warmed up. If you have not warmed up, Find something to do for uh, five minutes or so. You really want to loosen the joints, get the blood moving, um, and get yourself ready. <clears throat> I think for the bent over row, I'm going to use my tens. <clears throat> we'll see how this goes. So here are my weights. Bent over row, squat jacks, bicep curls, and mountain climbers. Oh, this is for seven minutes. So I'm going to set my timer. And then I'll give us, <clears throat> I'll be nice, I'll give you a one whole minute to chill before we move on to that two failure group. Alrighty then, let the fun begin. <clears throat> Do the best 
that you can, remember, form is more important. Focus on learning the form and consistently performing uh, the move correctly before you try to get more speed going. Um, I'm wearing a heart rate monitor today, so if you see a little bumpy thing in there, that's what that is. Just keeping track of what is going on with my body. Um, yeah, so anyway, we're going to get that started right now, too. Here we go. Alright, seven minutes on the clock. Here we go. Spin over row. 20, 50, 20, 50. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. 
girls. I'm gonna go with tens. 20.
Waltzes to failure. 90 degree angle with your knees. Scooch down. Drive with your heels. Lower back is flat against the wall. Hang out. Check Facebook. Do whatever you need to do. Quads. Quads mainly. Drive with the heels. The legs are shaky.
checking my heart rate. I'm at 63% of my maximum heart rate. I've already burned 132 calories in 15 minutes. All right. It's a little less than what I normally do. That's all right. All right, so next up, we're gonna do ladder press. Elbows nice and wide. We're climbing, we're climbing, we're climbing. Now make sure when you climb that you aren't bringing your weight down to your, your chin and your shoulder. Keep it out over. I might need to go down on weight. So the ladder press, 20, 20 each arm. And we're gonna do jump squats. Jump squats from 50. You need to break it up, 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10. That's totally fine, take your time. Curtsy lunges, alternating. So 20 each. Um, and then toe tap. So find something that you can tap your toes on that's a little bit elevated off the ground. Like so. And you're just tapping. 50 total. Alright. I might even set it up like that. Let's see if I can get it up here. Better, 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 better. Alright. So. Alright, we've got ladder press, jump squat, alternating curtsy lunge, and toe taps. Seven minutes. As many rounds as you can get through. Oopsies. Second round. Ladder press 20, jump squat 50, it's 20 each. Curtsy lunge 20 each, bench toe taps 50 total. Behind you, hips and shoulders. 
shoulders stay facing front. One. Two.
down and up. It's a tiny movement. So I'm going to use my bench. Homemade bench. It's not very tall. It doesn't have to be. I cover it so that my hands don't hurt. My butt's going to be close to the edge. I'm going to have to weight it down. Shoulders back, fingers forward, down and up to failure. Now we're going to stand up. I'm going to grab a weight. Actually, I'm going to straddle this bench. We're going to do plie goblet squats. Down and up to failure. So when you're down, your knees should be right over your ankles. You don't want your knees in shooting over your toes. So you want your legs to be nice and wide. I think I'm ready. Are we ready? Tricep dips first. If you really hate tricep dips or you have wrist issues, you're more than welcome to do overhead triceps. Keep your elbows tucked in. Full extension overhead. Full extension behind. That upper arm stays right along the side of your face. All right, seven minutes, this is it, and then we'll do some abs. Here we go. Three, two, one. Chest is up. Tiny movement, tiny movement.
arms are more tired from holding the weight than my legs are. Swimmers, Golden Gate Bridge, and then a frog 
crunches. Give me a second here. Swimmers, from the front position. <clears throat> so you're on your stomach. Toes are touching. Hands are out to your side. It's like you're doing a breaststroke. So you're pushing the water away, squeezing your back muscles, your glutes, your hamstrings, coming back down. Inhaling, actually we'll be exhaling. If you were in the water, you would be inhaling. Nice and slow from this side, just like this, working on that lower back. That's a swimmer. We're gonna roll over and do our bicycles. You guys should know these. Crossing, 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 crossing. <clears throat> Reaching your rib cage over that opposite side. It's not your elbow, it's not your shoulder. It's the rib cage. <clears throat> then we'll go back to swimmers. Then we'll do a Golden Gate Bridge. It's like a um, reverse crunch, but with a little something extra at the end. and controlled. Keep all the muscles on the back side of your body nice and tight. Keep breathing. Four seconds. Flip it over. Bicycles. Legs. Keep it nice and tight. Squeeze and hold. You can slow it down as you get more if you slow down. Squeeze and hold. Squeeze and hold. Flip it over. We're on 
let's come up the center. Push. Less than 10. Flip it over. Golden Gate Bridge. Reverse crunch with the leg split at the bottom. Lower back, pull in. Knee tuck, extend, open. Don't know why it's called the Golden Gate Bridge. If your abs are weaker, go more up, straight up. If you want more of a challenge, go all the way down and open. You're done. Nice job. <clears throat> Make sure you cool down and you stretch. I'm going to do that right now. Stretching is very important after you work out to help with injury, injury prevention. So don't skip it. Low runner's lunge, right leg forward. Ankle and knee, one straight line. Drop your hips down. So you're stretching out your hip flexor. You're also stretching out your hamstrings, your hip, your glutes on the other side. We're gonna drop the left knee down. Send your weight back towards your heel. This leg is nice and straight now, toes up to the ceiling. sides. <clears throat> I'm going to go forward this time. Left leg forward. Remember, ankle and knee, one straight line. Ooh, it's tight. This leg is tight. The weather's getting nice again, sort of, so I've been uh, taking my runs outside, which is a nice break from the treadmill running I did all winter. Doggies and I went on a nine and a quarter mile run on Monday. That's probably why I'm tight. Because I did not stretch after that, which I should have. It was a big no-no. Right knee down to the ground, send your weight back. Deep stretch down the back side of that leg. Your toes are flexed up to the ceiling. <clears throat> Come forward. We're going to sit on the ground. Left leg on the bottom, right leg over top. Make sure both of your hips are touching the ground. <clears throat> sit up nice and tall. Oops, wrap your left arm around your right knee. Pull it in. You should feel stretch in that glute. Chest up, so don't round over, chest lifted. But don't let that hip come off the ground either. So 
kitchen sides. Right leg on the bottom, left leg on top, both hips down, sit up nice and tall, right arm across, pull it in. You really want to feel that stretch in your glute.